Ooh. I said, ooh. What's good with y'all boys? Now I'm back with another kid reaction, baby. What's good, family? How y'all feeling out there today, man? I'm back with y'all with another video, man. Man, look. We tapping in a little bit more to the AFL, bro. Tapping in a little bit more to the AFL. Somebody sent me this request. They said, Mason Cox, don't believe in never. Now, you feel me? I, they say it's something like um, American. Went from American all the way to uh, Australia to play this sport right here. So, I'm like, man, that's dope. That sounds like an interesting story, bro. We got to tune in. So, I'm not even going to hold y'all too long. If y'all new to the channel, don't get a like, comment, subscribe, man. We growing every day. We almost at 5K, baby. So, man, let's just tune straight into the video, man. I appreciate y'all boys and I love y'all. Let's get into it. I got to turn it up a little bit for y'all, though, so y'all can hear. Let's go. Let's go. When Mason came to us, no American player had ever played a senior game of AFL footy. It's a one in whatever you want to call it, because no one had ever done it. Mason Cox, Richard Okay. My man played for Oklahoma State, you feel me? So, damn, that's wow. So he was a hooper that transitioned to a whole football slash AFL player, you feel me? Hey, I know AFL, not football, is different, but. Bro, that transition is, like, definitely rare, my guy. Like, that transition rarely happens. A basketball player go from football? Man, come on, man. Texas. He's only played six minutes all year. I went to Oklahoma State University. So I started out playing basketball when I was a freshman. I've never picked up a basketball in my life, really. We played <laughs> at the rec center, and there was a GA at the women's team, and she asked, would you be interested in helping out? Pretty much called the dream team, and they played against the women's team and practiced other teams and played against them. I was kind of like, Yeah, cool. Like, what do I get out of it? And she goes, Oh, we'll give you a free pair of shoes and maybe some kit. And I was like, Sweet. Right. The men's team saw me training with the women's team. And one of the coaches said, Who's that massive dude who's playing with the women's team? I'm like, why don't we have someone like that? I was in way over my head, barely could make a layup, and I was just a body bag. We got a call. <laughs> Y'all heard him. <laughs> He was out there getting dunked on. My man said he was a body bag, my guy. <laughs> wanted me to go to LA to try out for this thing called AFL, uh, Aussie Rules Football. And we both looked at each other and was like, what the hell is that? Right. And it comes up and it's like AFL's biggest hits. Just kind of look at him and laughing and going, Is this really a sport? <laughs> oh, I'd already accepted a six figure paying job at Exxon Mobil. So I went to the tryouts. Everyone that was there was interested in myself. It became pretty serious pretty quickly that week. I threw the cap in the air, you know, I got the degree on stage, made my parents proud. A week later, I flew to Australia and my life changed. The whole concept of me coming to Australia was just to give me a showcase of what AFL was. Saw my first AFL game, sat next to a North Melbourne player. He explained to me, you know, that's six points. That's a point. It's, right. a post. it's worth a point. You know, they point the opposite direction whenever they really mean that way. And at the end of it, I remember he goes, okay, cool. So these are the teams that are interested in you. Here's the contracts. Um, let me know what you think. The international rookies are whopping 211 centimeters, the same height as Aaron Sanderlands. Looks quite exciting. Ah, uh, man. That's tough, bro. You go somewhere else. You go somewhere else and you got to show your talent off. That's like when Pazingas came over here, bro. We did not know Pazingas when he uh, got draft drafted to the Knicks. Everybody like, who is this dude? They going to draft this dude? But, man, when he first played, man, Pazingas, Pazingas was a bucket, bro. He was tough. Nobody could stop, yo, when he first came to the league, bro. Facts. I remember getting on the plane, and I thought, what have I just done? I've just <laughs> given up five years of hard work and thousands of dollars of education to go play a sport I've never heard of in a place I've never been with no friends or no family in, in Melbourne. Mm. I stuck a footy in my hand, and I thought it was uh, pretty much rugby ball. Like, I had no <laughs> idea. The kangaroo skin and a Sharon is, like, the name of it. And I don't know. Like, it was all so foreign to me whenever I first started. He's kicking... His kicking was quite average. It was a crash course, essentially, of just what AFL was. Craig McRae and Anthony Rocker spent two and a half months with me and come around training the first day. It was sink or swim, really. We do this one drill, and you get a handball off to the coach, and, of course, Box is the one who you're handballing to. Go to handball to him. And I just remember looking at it, and I look back and going, 
second kind. We're gonna be to work today. <laughs> Going off to us for a second. And I can just see in my mind, just what have we recruited? <laughs> Players generally got a lot going on, but Mason's still trying to work out. Bro, that takes a lot of guts, though, bro, for you to travel all the way across and buy a sport you never even heard of. Bro, he already got like a championship mind, so he going off of faith, man. Y'all, man, I'm trying to tell y'all, chase y'all dreams, man. Go off of faith, man. If y'all believe y'all can do it, man, do it, bro. Game, whether it fits, if he fits, am I embarrassing myself? But at the end of the year, I got to the point where I was thinking, I might actually feel comfortable in an AFL game. Right. Bucks was the first one to tell me. They came out and said, look, you're going to debut, and... That week was a massive week. It's Anzac Day, obviously. It's one of the biggest games of the year. <laughs> to 90,000 plus. The stadium is massive. It just leans over the top of it. So that's challenging enough. I walked out there and I was ready to puke. I was that nervous. <laughs> I was freaking out. You know? It looked like he it had puke on his shirt. Look. Leans over the top of it. So that Look, it looked like he threw up already. He got something all on his shirt. My man nervous, man. First game of the season for him. That's challenging enough. I walked out there and... I was ready to puke. I was that nervous. I was freaking out, you know. I didn't know what to do. And I was thinking, don't screw up. Just whatever you do, don't screw up. Don't screw up. Okay. And I can't imagine what it's like to try and drop the ball that extra foot and a half to get it onto your foot. My hands would have been like this, holding that ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not that we needed to keep him grounded, but it was our job to keep him grounded. Stands at the MCG to steady this one. It's bloody hard. Damn. It's a big step from the VFL footy that he was playing to playing AFL footy. At the end of 17, I was playing VFL, you know, I'd gotten dropped a few times, we were playing small. He had to set himself a new goal of being one of the best forwards in the competition. Saturday night football at the Coliseum. Ah oh, man. Well, the I had the worst game of my career. I can probably say that pretty comfortably. I don't think I had a single mark the whole game and had maybe six touches or something and get suspended for the next week. Probably a low moment in my life, I'd say, of thinking, do I choose the right decision? Did yeah, bro. You gotta go. You gotta go through them problems, bro. You gotta go through them. You gotta go through them, man. Ain't nothing. Nothing gonna be perfect. Nothing. You gotta go through the hard part to get through the easy part, bro. Whatever Mason Cox can do as a permanent forward, I suspect Ben Rude can do better. I said, you know what? This is a last ditch effort to show him what you're worth, to show him you can do this as a job. This is your career that you want to do for the rest of your life. What a beast. Tiger has become on and off the field. 22 consecutive wins at the MCG. It's hard to get your head around it, to be honest. We played Richmond twice and been overrun twice through the year. This could be the biggest game that Mason Cox never gets a kick in. Prelim final MCG. Matt Stebby holds the ball aloft. Richmond take on Collingwood. It happened pretty early. Okay. There you go, Shorty. Yeah. His hands are on, mate. They, they, they just stuck. Got the American flag. <laughs> okay. Could you have pictured that four years, five years earlier with the guy that handballed over the top of my head? Um, definitely not. And Collingwood will go in to the 2018 Grand Final. Famous victory on the back of this man here. That's dope, bro. Setting limitations on others, I think if you're motivated enough and you care enough, or that determined to get to wherever you want to go, it's it's possible. You 
can't write the script any better. Well, you could have. We could have won the grand final. <laughs> so, flew out my mouth. Man, I'm tripping, man. But look, man, this was a, uh, man, uh, this was dope, bro. I was locked in. You feel me? This was inspirational, bro. It tell you that you can do anything you want in life, bro. I was, this definitely was dope. This Mason Cox story, man. Dang. And is he still over there playing to the day? Man, we're going to be reacting to more AFL uh, football games. Ashley, you feel me? I heard, it's, I heard this will be like a championship game or a playoff game going this week, man. We're going to react to all that, man. So if y'all new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, man. I appreciate y'all boys who grow on every day. And I'm out, babe.